Hi, Happy New Year, and welcome to Q&A with Megan. This edition is based on the new year entering into 2021. And our first question is, I want to have a great 2021. What's your advice on how to do this? Awesome, I wanna have a great year too. My advice on how to have the best year possible is to first focus on not so much what we want to do and accomplish, but really focus more on how we want to feel in the new year. Yes, of course we can have goals and dreams and desires that we want fulfilled in our life, things that we wanna carry out, but let's focus more on how accomplishing those things will truly make us feel as they are accomplished. So. For example, having more joy and more trust, more love and excitement, just general life giving energy in our, in our beings, in our days, in our experiences is so awesome and important. And this can carry out into all aspects of our lives. And so if we focus on how we want to feel and align this with God's desire for us, which truly is pure joy and love, peace, and just, having a wonderful life in general, then we can live into anything that we want. We can truly manifest what we want by putting out this energy of how we want to feel. So yes, God wants us to feel good and it's great to feel good. So let's, let's really try to focus on this part of our being and accept that it's a good thing to feel good. That's all. So I'm going to move on to our next question, get a little bit more of clarity about our New Year's intentions. So our second question is, how do I keep consistency in living out my New Year intentions? Okay, well, I recommend reminding yourself every morning of what your intention is is reminding yourself of what you want to feel in this new year if it's just more life and energy then just think about that for a bit and if you have some time meditate on that for a bit and really try to embody this feeling because this feeling will take you into so many different directions and will truly allow you to manifest your concrete desires and what you want to accomplish in this world so I recommend renewing this every day, reminding yourself. And when you make decisions, these everyday decisions in your life, ask yourself, is this aligned with this joyful, positive energy that I really want to embody, that I want to have in my life? Is this, is this aligned with, with what I think God's will is? Is this aligned with a surrender to God's will for my joy and love and peace? And so, it's true that God wants us to be happy and God wants us to experience love. And so we can truly try to open ourselves more to that possibility, that reality. And we can practice living out our joy, which is so important to manifest our desires in every single moment. So just when you're sitting there, just think about how you can put a positive twist to things and just embody this true joy that is really accessible at all times, no matter what kind of hardship you're facing, whatever kind of suffering you're going through, it's there for us. It's a practice that we can truly find this purpose and meaning in, in trying to live out every moment. And we will fail. We will you know, mess up a little bit and um, won't have joy 100% of the time, but that's okay. We just keep trying and trying. It's great. So I want to leave you with a idea, a quote that a um, someone named Gabby Bernstein, who is a, a spiritual leader in this world, she says that success, the definition of success to her is having fun and feeling inspired. So if we can have a little bit more of that mentality, that mentality of really feeling into this dream, this goal of our new year and bringing into our lives this feeling of joy and fun and these good vibes 
And th that, is, that is the gateway into feeling inspired and then being led into whatever God wants for our lives. Because yes, we can, we can go towards our goals but we don't know exactly how we're going to get to where we want to be. But if we just surrender into this joy and good feeling, we will get there in truly a quick and enjoyable way that is just so beautiful and is really there for all of us. So God bless you on your new year journeys. I hope that you have so much just excitement and hope for your year and know that I am always here to answer your questions and just please send them along and please just stay stay authentic and stay true to the joy inside you and keep cultivating it more and more knowing that God wants your best life for you and for all so God bless, take care, and I will see you next week. Bye.